Ever been on a really good run and you're crushing life, six months, seven months, and all of a sudden, whoosh, you sabotage and you go back to zero like that? Who's done that? You're backsliding. Next slide, my brother. It's, it's in your genetic code. What happens next? Higher emotional intelligence. You don't argue the same way. You don't fight the same way. You don't even let the little Remember those little things they used to test you, Jeff? Hey, man, are you going to go train? Andy, you're an idiot. And you're looking, I'm not an idiot. Andy's amazing. You do it, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go train, because that's who you are. You're higher self-aware. like, man, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm training every day, every month. I show up. And then self-awareness, who you have to become. Who do you have to become to take this on? Mind, body. It's not about money. It's written in the code. I promise. Next one. It's the foundation five. The foundation five I created studying Andy and Jacqueline Elliott. There's a lot of people out there that say health, wellness, relationships. These three. You figure out these three, you got it. It didn't work for me. It did not. Because I kind of got those three figured out but I was missing something. The void was not full. I still longed for more. I wanted more. I wanted more. Well, what was it? What was I missing? And I had this guy, Andy, this Oklahoma, this guy was crazy, man. He's like, hey, dude, you gotta get back in the church. I'm like, I ain't going to church, bro. Hell no, ain't going. Walked away from that a long time ago. Believe in God, I ain't going to church. Hell no, don't like the church, not interested. There's a part that I was missing. I'm not here to talk to you about church. I'm not here to get biblical. I'm just saying there's some more, it's more than just health, wellness, and relationships. It's the foundation of five. This is the last two years of my life training under Andy Elliott. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Hey, I want to stop the video real quick and show you. I just released my brand new book called The Book of Deadly Scripts. You want to know how to overcome any objection in the world? You want to know how to literally pick up the phone and every single time you do, create a hot end market buyer who wants to buy a vehicle? Do me a favor, shoot me a text right now, 918-210-0254. I don't have this book for sale on the website. If you'll shoot me a text, I'll send you the link so you can buy it. Let's crush it and kill it. This book will change your life. It just got released. Let's get back to the video. Studying Andy and Jacqueline Elliott and giving back to you. Next one. The number one is your spirituality. I don't care what you believe in, God, Allah, Buddha, I don't, it doesn't matter but you have to believe you're more than just life and death. It starts with your rituals for me and my gratitude. My rituals are the time I get up in the morning and what I do throughout the day. My gratitude is what I'm grateful for in the morning that puts me in that happy state, that helps me find my happiness, my inner peace. Man that struggles with the dark side. I love my dark side. I bring it out into the light. And that's something that I'm getting really good at as I study Andy, as I study man and women and why we do what we do. Ever been on a really good run and you're crushing life, six months, seven months, and all of a sudden, whoosh, you sabotage and you go back to zero like that? Who's done that? You're backsliding. Why? It's part of the five. If you can get all five of what I'm gonna cover here in the next 10 minutes in line and manage all five every day of your life, you will create a lifestyle it will be the most elite version of yourself showing up every day in your life for your people, for your family, for your tribe, for your contribution in life, for your community and your church, whatever it might be. You will show up and people will come up to you and go, hey, you've changed. And you're like, thank you, I know. You're supposed to. And that will be the difference maker. Your spirituality or your rituals and your gratitude. Next one, my brother. Health. How many can run a million miles an hour on five hours of sleep right now? Raise your hand. Okay, next time I see you, next time Andy sees you, it has to be every single one of you. This life Andy's painting for you, this picture, is very real. You ever look at a picture, any art bus in here? You ever look, like, look at a picture and you feel like you're in that moment, in that picture? That's a great artist. What Andy has painted for you for the first half from nine to noon is a picture of what your life could look like. This is the foundation of what it's gonna take. And this is just coming from me. Okay, this is what I've instilled in my life over the last year and a half, studying this man, taking my life into control, not listening to other men and women, not doing what everybody else is telling me to do and living for me and my wife. I serve my wife, she serves me, we've become one. And this is how I know how to do it. This is I know works because I was a fucking train wreck before I met this man. And anybody knows me in my past, huh, TJ? I was out of control. Your health, stamina and strength. 
If you don't have the stamina and you don't have the strength, you're not running with me. I promise you. I'll bury you. And you have to tie it to something. Who are you going to chase? Is it a mentor? Is it a belief? Is it the man you want to recreate for your family? Aaron, what do you tie it to? Your beautiful wife, the future kids you're going to have, right? You, you serve each other. So if you don't have the health, and I'm not talking go out and getting ripped and abs and all this stuff. I'm talking running a mile a day, doing some push-ups, doing some sit-ups and eating right. That will give you the energy and stamina that you must have in order to complete this life and this task that we're going to put you through. If you stay plugged into us, my selfish intent, you come into Andy and Jacqueline's world. You never leave. You get me as a coach. You got Macklin's. Who knows the Macklin's? Raise your hand. They're crazy. And guess what? They serve men and women first before they serve themselves. You can't beat us. We have a tribe of men and women that think alike. But you're going to need your health. You're going to need your stamina. You're going to need your strengths. We got Danny on the come up, one of the coaches. Danny was a mid-level coach. He loves people. He loves people. He's a mid-level rev guy as far as money made, right? Now he's the top producer and one of the top producers in the company. You know what his biggest shift was? His belief, his health, his stamina, and he started contributing spiritually back to others even more. Is he always there for you when you reach out? You're damn right he is. And now he's starting to scale as a man. Next slide, my brother. This one is very important, mindset. How many of you agree mindset is probably one of the most important things outside of closing and negotiations? Okay, mindset, closing and negotiations, right there. That's a one-dimensional man, if man or woman, if you master that. If you just master mindset, closing and negotiations, you can go make a lot of money with your life, but you're probably gonna be empty and unfulfilled in many other areas. Uh, excuse me, many other areas. Fortitude, you gotta get after it. Do you have what it takes to show up every day, even when your mind's telling you to go dark, when the mind's telling you stop, the mind's telling you this isn't for you. You know what I'm feeling. You've ever felt that way, right? It grips you like it's real. It lasts a, a rope around your brain and sucks you dry. The fortitude that it takes to push through that is this tribe. You reach out to me, you reach out to Andy, you DM someone that you're meeting. Why do you think I ask everybody to meet everybody? as we go down these rows and we go down these aisles because we're a brotherhood and a sisterhood. You can't break this. This is unbreakable. And then your desire, the desire to do what you need to be doing when you least likely want to do it. How many have ever been there? Don't want to get out of bed today. Shit, I don't want to do this. This is going to suck. You tell yourself this. My biggest struggle, my biggest struggle is the desire and the fear or the desire to let off the gas because sometimes I just think I'm not... I'm gonna be very transparent with you, good enough. And my desire gets challenged because, okay, I'm pretty good, but man, maybe I'm just not good enough. Maybe, maybe, maybe you just fit in your role. Maybe you just stay in your lane. That's all bullshit. You want it, go get it all. You have to go get it all. The desire to chase it with endless pursuit comes with your mindset. Also kind of ties into your spirituality and your mindset, one and the two, a deadly combination. That makes you a two-dimensional man or woman. I'm going to cover that here in a minute. Two-dimensional. If you have mindset, spirituality, you're two-dimensional. It's pretty good living. You can live great that way. Next one, my brother. Jacob's amazing. I love Jacob. Jacob lived with me for 30 days in the beginning of this journey. I'll tell you what, boy, that guy can even speak. It's amazing how Andy picks out the talent. Oh, buddy. Look at this guy. Look at him, man. You looked at him a year and a half ago. Completely different human. And this is what we live by. The foundation. Your relationships. Business, personal, your man, your wife, your kids, are they honorable? And can you be trusted? Honorable and trusted. See, a lot of men and women think they're honorable. But behind closed doors, <laughs> you're a whole different beast. You are a monster. You're a monstrous monster. And that's real. A lot of monstrous people out there. See, if you're honorable and trust, you're virtuous. No one needs it easy. Virtue isn't easy. Virtue isn't playing safe. Virtuous isn't someone that takes out the laundry or does the laundry and takes out the trash and provides a good living. That's weak. And a monstrous monster will take you out. And in your, your relationships, you have to be a virtuous man and woman in honor and trust because that's where people can backdoor you. In your relationships, they can pick you apart. In your relationships, they know who you are. They know who they're doing business with. Your spouse knows who you are. How many times, men, how many times have you told your wife you're going to do something and you never did it? How many times over the years have you stacked that on them and now when you tell them you're going to go train, they're like, yeah, sure. Sure, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Quit telling them you're going to do shit. 
just do the things you're going to do. I've told my wife for years I was gonna do things and now I tell her that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and she's like, oh, we'll see. Not anymore, because I became honorable in my relationship. I became trustful in my word. When I say I'm going to do something with my wife, I go and do it. You know what I did to fix that? I quit taking more on. I tell her no more than I do yes. Because I'm just saying yes and get out of my way and forgetting to do so, that's a stack. How many of you guys had to ask your wife for permission to come down here and train and they said no because they didn't think you were gonna come down here and train and do the work? Raise your hand, it's okay, raise your hand. It was you, right? That's real, why? She don't trust you to do the work, man. Are you changing that? Good, because now you just became honorable and trustworthy in one decision. One decision changes all that. But you gotta be honorable in your word and you gotta be trustworthy with what you say you're gonna do. And that's something that the Elliott Group embodies. That's why you're drawn to us. We're not the magic bullet, we just outwork everybody. And we're honorable. And you, I'm sorry, if you tell Andy's clients that you're gonna do something and you don't do it and it gets back to Andy, oh, it's not a pretty day for you. Next one, wealth. How many of you want some money? Well, I want money. Oh, I don't do it for money. Okay, well then why don't you go make a ton of money and just give it all away to charity to make yourself feel better, okay? You do it for the wealth. Because once you have the first four in order, it's nice having the money, because you can contribute, and you're living in a life of abundance. And that's powerful. That's a great way to live. So if you have the first four in order, you're a four-dimensional person. The fifth one with your wealth, that makes you a multi-dimensional person. And this is the thing that I learned from Jacqueline Elliott. For years, she told me, she goes, you're like one or two to three dimensional. I'm like, no, I'm not. I do a lot of things right, Jacqueline. I do this, I do that. She goes, that's the story you tell yourself. But where are you with your faith and your relationships, your spirituality, your wealth, your contribution, your abundance? Your wealth is your contribution and abundance to others. It will come back. It will come back. How many of you contribute to the community? Contribute to your church? Contribute other, uh, to more people than other than yourself? It's a powerful thing, it'll move you. How many of you have done that and then you received it? You're opening yourself up for abundance when you do this. When you work so hard for something, okay? And then uh, the contribution, when you work for so hard for something and then the abundance comes back to you and you uh, freely give it away, it opens up the doors for abundance to come back even harder. Nothing more powerful than working your ass off for something, your hard earned money, paying taxes on that money, putting it into the bank and then giving it through contribution to other people. It opens up a challenge. It opens up a channel of abundance. You are now in an abundance mindset and it's absolutely breathtaking to be a part of. I never lived this way for 20 years in business. I never lived this way. I was a taker, a taker. I've always had a servant heart. I've always given you if you needed anything, but I wasn't gonna go out of my way to give my money to anybody. I worked hard for that money. I was gonna save it. It was gonna just be with me and just save it and try to stack it for what? The more I give, the more I receive. And it's a powerful notion. Next one, my brother. So I'm gonna wrap up with this, my brothers and sisters. If you live this way in the foundation five, again, this is me. This is what I take it as. This is me studying Andy and Jacqueline. This is me literally watching them for years. I'm with Andy seven days a week. We're with each other a lot. This tribe doesn't separate, the internal tribe. And this is what I've noticed. This is what I put myself through. That foundation five, it leads to this. Go back one. The foundation five leads to this. It would eliminate the two things that cause the most problems in your life, fear and anger. How many of you have fear and anger in your life? Okay, do you wanna know how to get rid of fear and anger in your life? Live in a state of gratitude. If you're living in a state of gratitude, it replaces all fulfillment that fear and anger can take over. Because fear and anger cannot coexist, cannot coexist when you're in a grateful state. If you're grateful in your life and you're living a full life by living with your health, your wealth, relationships, fear and anger cannot simultaneously coexist when you're in a state of gratitude. If I make fun of your wife and I bury her right now, will I make you angry? Just like that, I own you. I own your state, I own you, you're angry, right? But why can't I take you to a state of gratitude just like that? We don't practice it. And if you don't practice it, there's no way for you to achieve it just like that. So if I can make you angry and fearful in a moment's time, why can I take you to gratitude just as fast? Because you don't, you don't channel that state. So fear and anger ruin relationships, business deals, right? Who you wanna become, what you're tying it to are all limited by fear and anger. But if you replace gratitude and fulfillment and live a grateful life, you will eliminate fear and anger. It is training, it is studying how to do this. 
If you do this, my brothers and sisters, I promise you, you will start showing up as the most elite version of yourself. The genetic code in your body will start unlocking. Who you want to become is absolutely limitless. Let me ask you one question before I get out of here. Do you know who you want to become? If I close your eyes, if you close your eyes, can you envision that person? What they look like, what they're dressed like, their stance on stage, what they smell like, who they're hanging out with. That person, the most elite version of themselves, is loved by many. Loved. They know what they want and they know what they're going to get. Next slide, my brother. So we're going to eliminate fear and anger by living through gratitude. The Elliot Group. Ian Macklin came up with this and I thought it was the most powerful thing I've heard. This is very powerful. I want you guys to read this out loud. One tribe. tribe. Louder. One tribe. One One mission. One vision. 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 That's who we are. That's who we want to become. We have a vision for you. We have a vision for the Elliott Group. We're becoming the most dominant force to be messed with. If you get in our way, we will bury you. You want to coincide? You want to party with us? You want to train with us? You want to study this man or woman? That's what we're all about. Do you follow Brad Lee? Guys, it's Andy Elliott right here at my conference room in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are putting on the event of the year, June 4th. Entrepreneurs, salespeople, closers, business owners. You want to build a sales team and learn how to close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. This is going to be the event. And by the way, Brad Lee isn't going to be here like a speaker at most speaking events. He's personally going to be training from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Everything you need to know to triple your income this year and by the way this is an event that ain't gonna happen again if you want to be the best if you want to be so great at what you do you make your competition look like freaking amateurs this is the place you want to be we only got 350 seats so the spots are going to go out fast shoot me a text message right now 918-210-0254 you don't want to miss this event shoot a text message right now to 918 210-0254. Let's kill it, baby. Let's go.